Still bright and new every year. Well worth the effort. It's just so we've actually found, like you say, it's just gone leaps and bounds. So really pleased to have been involved in the planning and all credit to you know the, the coordinators within KTC that have got this up to this level. It's the type of thing that we should be giving credit a lot more to the, the good young people who are actually thinking about these things and, and this type of thing does that. It, it yeah, gets away from the all young people are problems to these young people are actually thinking. A much, much more positive story about the well, young absolutely, people. Absolutely, yeah, we should have more positive stories about the young people. But we need to actually get the young people to realise that everybody's not against them. There are some young people who are causing problems, but that is a very small minority. And really, things like this should be publicised and celebrated all the time, because these are the young people who are going to show the others that there is a different way. I think that this is exactly the right thing that we should be doing with young people in terms of for education. I certainly do. I mean, I have a responsibility for drug and alcohol treatment services and I think that understanding how young people see the world is absolutely at the centre of what we need to do. And so, yes, this is brilliant. And I think young people speaking from their perspective, let's hear it, let's understand it. And what we know is that young people listen to other young people. So this is absolutely key. Young people giving a message out there for other young people. way of teaching other people um, how to prevent getting into the wrong sort of life. We just want to influence yeah. people. We've learnt a lot about them because we've done a lot of research as well. How did you we've do had that? To, what research? Uh, well, we went to the newspapers and we actually got articles and also we researched on the internet and stuff about use of drugs. We actually have been learning as well as like making up this play we've also been learning and actually putting the facts into our play. I always have believed that theatre and education is a tremendous vehicle for every subject but in particular for drug education because drugs issues need to be talked about and opened up and it's very difficult because for some young people they find it hard to talk about, adults find it hard to talk about and drama as a vehicle enables them to distance themselves from the actual situation, present situations to other young people for them to then challenge their attitudes and think more deeply about the issues that affect them. What does this production do for your young people in your school? Um, it's a way of approaching the subject without teaching them boring facts and figures that go in one ear and come out the other. Um, they are responsible for finding out the information that they want to include. So it means that they're going off independently and finding out what's relevant. And it also means that they are taking in this information a lot more and retaining the information, I think, um, than if you just stood and gave them a, a bunch of figures on a board and gave them a, ha a worksheet to read through. Um, and because they're, they're using this evidence to turn it into a piece of drama which teaches people of their own age, they're thinking very carefully about how that material is put together. interesting for me, which I didn't think about, as a teacher I was thinking about the kids and informing them and getting them to understand, was the feedback from the parents who actually stated that they didn't know how to discuss drugs and alcohol with their children.
know that the young people present so many fabulous things. Whenever we do competitions like this, we're looking for that extra creativity that's really on those key messages. Yeah, I think the kids have done a brilliant job. You can see the excitement, the passion in what they're doing, which is fantastic. And no matter what they're doing, they're actually putting a message over. They're reinforcing. Every time, every word is reinforcing, reinforcing, reinforcing. So brilliant. Education, then? I would say let the children lead it. 